Hey guys, Statsa here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a relatively basic spaceship, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw some pretty basic guidelines, right? Something that I can kind of stick to when I draw it in 3D space, which is, you know, what I'm going to draw it in. So I'm going to go ahead, add a couple guidelines, not a big deal. And if you notice, all of my guidelines are very parallel to each other, right? Or at least close enough. The reason for this is because my biggest focus right now is actually getting the design of the spaceship out in 3D space and not really doing anything too wild or crazy when it comes to any perspective pushes or anything involving like extreme perspective itself, right? So here's a few guidelines and everything likewise, right? So generally before you want to draw a spaceship of any kind, it's usually good to have a design philosophy in mind. Do you want a fast spaceship? Do you want a uh, military spaceship? Do you want something that has maybe a, a inspiration from maybe crabs that are from the sea? So, something like that, right? So in this specific case, I'm going to be drawing a military spaceship. It's going to be relatively dark because usually when you draw things that are darker, they tend to be a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and try that right now. So initially, I look for more than anything interesting shape design while also at the same time I'm looking how that shape design can fit into the design philosophy that I'm trying to push right now so right now I'm going for military so relatively so military maybe we could go for a heavy gunship uh, military wise we'll need some like heavy armor maybe some good weapons so we can actually shoot stuff right and a maybe intimidating shape design simply because it's you know it's a military spaceship so we got to go ahead and try that so i'm just going to go ahead i'm just going to draw some using my guidelines and using my basic design philosophy i'm going to draw a basic spaceship exterior right and it's nothing too fancy or too well like thought out simply because my biggest focus right now is just getting a basic good shape design in and also this is kind of a speed paint so it's nothing you i'm really going to worry about when it comes to uh, having extreme details, you know, it's personal work, not a client work. So I'm going to go ahead. So here we can add some little uh, little rockets, right? So it can be actually flying like a good spaceship would, not just a random hovering spaceship. Let me go ahead and draw that in. Let me just take a moment and check to see if it, all right, because I high keyed my intros and stuff like that. You know, maybe they don't work, maybe they do, but apparently it did. Anyways, so we have some good little rockets here. And we have a good little front here. Now we got to think about maybe adding a gun of some sort. So because, you know, the, the base design isn't too intimidating, I think I'm going to go ahead and add like maybe a bigger gun that we can focus on that the spaceship is trying to sell as its like big spaceship selling point, right? Maybe we can add like a big turret right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw in, you know, what is hopefully going to look like a gun, right? So let's go ahead, maybe it can be like one of those rail guns, something of the kind. Let's add a couple of them. <laughs> it looks like a spaceship with eyeballs, all right, all right. How about this, how about we add one more, one more top part to it? All right, so, all right, that's, you know, that's relatively okay. Maybe we can sh have it shoot or something of the sort, right? Or add bullets or something likewise. And then we'll add a little cockpit um, let's think about what else would a spaceship have? I don't know, we would have some, maybe some little doors because people need to get in and out. So we'll go ahead and add some little doors there. And here it on, let's add a, a little bit of 3D. You know, it's gonna be kind of a more of a downward view. You're gonna be looking up at it, it has to be intimidating. Let me be quite frank, this ship doesn't look intimidating at all. But hey, what are you gonna do? So here we have three little guns. Maybe we'll add like a bullet, a bullet case or something of the like to make it look more into, to make it look more like a, a weapon. But right now it's, you know, it's good. So there we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, as you can tell, it's on its own layer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw underneath it, or at least color in underneath it. And maybe we'll go for more of a red-like ship, right? Because, you know, it's a military spaceship. Actually, green might work. We could do a combination of red and green. That sounds like a Christmas ship. Anyways, let's go ahead. 
So I'm just going to pick a relatively base color, not too light, not too dark. I'm just going to start blocking it in, right? So just blocky, 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 do all that. So sometimes I actually draw over the line art and actually finish the painting that way. And other times I'll actually just get rid of the line art entirely when it's refined enough to where I can just draw on it without the line art, right? But right now I think I'm just going to actually, hold on, let me take a moment here. And now I think I'm actually going to take the line art, make it a lot more dim and actually draw on top of it, just for the fun of it, right? Got to change things up. So there we go. We got a nice little uh, red spaceship here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and over here. Boom. Now I'm gonna start drawing on top of it. After let me just go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Not too much though. All right. So there we go. You know, <laughs> I know it looks kind of bad right now, like really bad. <laughs> But trust me when I say that it's going to be it'll be in a good spot relatively soon. Now before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and add a value push simply because you know I'm just going to block in the big shapes about what the value would probably touch. So I'm going to block it in here, block it in there. I'm close to black. I, I usually do it straight up black, but you know it's always always good to experiment. I'm just going to go ahead, block it down a little bit, block it in a little bit, and there we go. Just block in that a little bit, you know, just uh, as I said, a whole value push. It tends to be a very speedy process when you actually do it all in one big go. Like I colored this whole spaceship in one big go, I colored in, or now I'm adding value in one big go, and later on you'll be seeing me add details in one big go and everything likewise. To bunch things up and do them all in one big push is usually the fastest way to do things. That's kind of why it's faster to draw like three paintings on once on the same canvas than to draw just three separate paintings over the course of a week or something likewise, you know? Anyways, let me go ahead. I'm just going to draw these. Boom, boom, boom. Also, uh, if I forget to say this later, you can actually come look at it at my blog or I could actually link a high res version. This isn't this picture isn't actually high res. It's like 1,000 by 2,000 pixels or something of the like. Uh, but I can link the high res version if you guys want, along with the layers if you guys would like. As of now, this is just a speed paint, and this is my first YouTube video. So look at that. If I continue YouTube, I'm gonna look back in this video. <laughs> I'm gonna see myself mentioning it. All right. So yeah, now I'm just putting a little bit more of a detailed value push. Not too much of a big deal. Just you know, just gliding around. And I'm able to do this at relative ease while talking simply because I draw a lot of spaceships and I draw a lot of futuristic stuff, right? Anyways, let me go ahead and um, block that in. Just, you know, just adding, just pushing some dark values. We're going to add highlights and that'll be a fun time. Yeah, so let me just gonna add some darkness here, like there. And right there and like that. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more details likewise like right here because I I added these like horrendous squiggles squiggles and they had a purpose it was to all right let me just take a moment here and realize what I've just done I put these opposite of uh, what they should be like turning wise so they should be more like this because you know that's just perspective right so let me go ahead draw it up like that like that you know, not the most perspective heavy drawing in the world, but you know, it's uh, maybe the second most perspective heavy drawing in the world. I'm just kidding. Anyways, let's go ahead and draw like that. Just a little more blocking in. So I was trying to take some relative shape, not too much shape. You know, as you can tell, there's still a lot to be done, but you know, it's it's doing good. So go ahead, block those in. All right, block those in. Just you know, just doing some good pushes, some good value pushes. And yeah, we're, we're almost reaching the end of this point right here, right? So we got a lot of good stuff happening right now. We got a good little red kind of goofy spaceship happening right now. But don't worry, it'll, uh, it'll take some shape. shape. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to like remind myself. I'm going to add some blue here. I'm just going to remind myself that I'm going to come back here later and like add some like blue cannons, you know, like, you know, the biggest purpose of this little military ship right here, right? You might add some turrets too. You know what? Let's go ahead and block those in right quick before I forget. 
So I have like some turrets and I know they don't have guns at the moment, but trust me when I say that they will have guns by the end of this video. I promise you that. Anyways, all right, so, you know, second looking, uh, taking some relatively okay shape. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna push some highlights, right? So let me go ahead. This might actually be a little too bright for what we for what we actually need to do, but you know, let me just take a moment. Yeah, this is a decent red. You know, this spaceship isn't that isn't that colorful or anything, as you can tell, because it's really kind of sad looking. But it'll do. It'll be just fine. So let me go ahead. I'm just trying to think right now if this is an, a good red for like adding highlights or something of the sort, right? Anyway, let me go here. Boop boop boop. Some highlights there, and boop boop. Yeah. So now, as you can tell, you know that I'm adding highlights and uh, adding highlights and adding a little bit more of a detail layer because you know my highlights right now are a little bit a lot thinner than my dark that I pushed. Yeah, you're starting to take some you know relatively okay shape. So let's go ahead and set some up up here as well, right? And let me go ahead and do a little bit of a push that don't include highlights at all. Just you know, just do a little bit of a push of the actual metal devices that are on this ship. Because as you can tell, it's kind of a grungy and gross looking, right? It's just definitely not colors I usually choose. I usually try to go a little bit brighter. But hey, it's a learning experience, so what are you going to do? Okay. All right, do a little bit of that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, actually, all right, we might want to do a push like this as well. Kind of go over that. A little bit of a wild, a wild push, if you, if you ask me. I did not see that coming too much, but hey, what are you going to do? Let's go ahead, let's keep going. Nice little dots down there. All right, so let me go ahead. Actually, let me add a, a little bit more of these, uh, this highlight right here, right? So let me go, yeah. Yeah, we'll add, we'll make it a bit wild. We'll add these like, <laughs> these like claws, kind of like looking things. We'll add those, why not? It's an interesting dynamic for sure. All right, so. All right, so that's looking okay. All right, let me go ahead and add this this dark, this red over here to over here. All right, we don't need to add it over there. It's already really pretty dark. I don't want to really fade it too much. All right, so, all right, right now it's, you know, taking some relatively okay shape. Let me just push this right here, push that away. Cause I want that, I want some of that, uh, some of that good cannon to be showing up. All right, anyways, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of a, hold on a moment, just add a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit there. Let me add just a little bit more actually. There's there's some stuff to do on this one for sure. This one's a bit wild. Um, so, yeah, that looks like it could work. Let's go ahead and add right there. All right, so that's that's real taking some relatively good shape, and I'll show you why. At this point in time, it probably doesn't look that good. Now, give us some time. I can halfway guarantee you that it'll turn out just fine, if not pretty okay. So let me go ahead. Let me just uh, block in these engines. Make sure I didn't forget about them. There's one up here as well. And we'll go ahead and add it like boom, boom. And there's one back here that I added, like that. All right. And anyways, a cockpit's gonna be up here. All right, let me take a moment here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more of a push here. Add some red to it. Just to kind of balance things out. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of a detail push, All right? So let me go ahead. I'm gonna pick a little bit of a darker brush. 
And so let's go ahead and start pushing in the values, I mean. All right, or not values, but details. So let me go. Yeah, so it has a little detail there, just some little like building blocks as if someone put the spaceship together, right? Okay. That's doing good. Go ahead and that maybe a little bit right there. Okay, like that. Yeah, but make some additions here. Let's add a little bit of that. Do a little bit of that good push of that color, and go over here. It just right now it's at a we're at the moment at the point in time where we're just kind of like you know editing it and buffering it, and adding some like nice simple things, some nice little tweaks, right? So let me go ahead and put some little dots there. Why not add a little bit of an interesting. <laughs> Add more to the interesting silhouette for sure. Okay, I don't know why that. Oh, look at that! It's on the old, old older layer. That's why. All right. Anyways, okay. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna add some some really some dark pushes over here as well. Right. So let's go ahead. All right. And let's do that. Right, so just to add a little bit of a perspective push and just to push in general, you know, this thing needs some good details. You know, when I'm doubt, I kind of, I see what it looks like. I try to see, or at least I try to get to a point where at least some of it's detailed to really see if I want to continue on this piece. Cause there's like so many times where like the piece is just, is just not working at least through my eyes, right? But when I start detailing it and I start adding, you know, some good pushes, some good value pushes, stuff like that, it turns out looking actually pretty okay. So let me go ahead, I'm just gonna add some more details right there. Maybe make it more of a rounded edge more than, than just a, a clawed edge, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and push this. And as you can tell, I'm grouping, as I said earlier, I'm grouping in all of the different uh, parts to making a drawing. In this case, I'm doing all my detailing at once, right? Now this isn't super detailed, like this isn't super detailing or anything of the sort. However, it is, you know, I am using the same kind of size brush to go over it and add another level of detail density, right? And it's, you know, it's um, coming out relatively fast. How far are we actually in this? I don't know. I need to keep a little timer for myself so I don't go overboard. But anyways, uh, let's take a look. 17 minutes, not, not bad for 17 minutes. Really not that bad at all. Although we still have a little bit to go for sure, so. All right, so let me just go ahead and do a little push over there. I want it to be kind of symmetrical. Of course, it's a little impossible with the uh, the angle it's at, right? But we'll be okay. Yeah, so we add some stuff there. And we'll add some stuff there. Yeah, just taking some good shape. Dot, dot. Add some like, stuff right here. All right, so. Yeah, it's taking some okay shape. Apologies that there's no music or anything likewise kind of playing right now. It's something I'm still working out. I was thinking more like piano music uh, or something like that. Simply because like I, I listen to tutorials and I listen to some, I listen to, you know, some people that give, yeah, essentially tutorials. And some of them play heavy metal music. Some of them play wild, wacky music. And I watch speed paints as well. And some of these guys, they just play some really... Uh, very definitely personal playlist kind of music, right? And that's not something I want to do. I don't want to play something something wild like Ricky Remedy or something likewise that some people will like, some people won't like, and majority of people won't even think about, right? So I was thinking more along the lines of piano music. There's few and far between, I would say, that hate or dislike piano music, right? But that's, that's to be discovered because I haven't actually had the music yet. Anyways, it's making, you know, it's taking some relatively good shape. Let's go ahead and I'm going to add a push over here because this is kind of sticking out. So I want this part to stick out as well. And yeah, as you've noticed, you've probably seen that the turrets have disappeared. I'm going to put them back on here. I promise you that. It's just, uh, it's, it's just a whole process is all. I'm just layering and layering this, uh, this piece with more and more. Coats of paint, digital paint, I'd say. All right. 
and it's taking some good shape. We got a good little thing going on here. We got a nice little 3D shape going on here. It has a decent silhouette. Although the military aspect isn't really showing in the way I'd like. If I add just a bunch of turrets everywhere, it should be okay. Because if there's anything that's easy to draw or to give a purpose, it's adding guns. Because if you, you can have like a weird alien creature, add some guns to it. Oh, now it's like a alien creature that shoots stuff, right? It has a purpose. If you draw a spaceship and it has no purpose, just draw guns on it, and now it'll suddenly have purpose, and it'll suddenly be a, a shooter spaceship, a military spaceship, you know, kind of like what I'm drawing right now. Anyways, alright, so, oh, now I'm doing plainly black, a plain black push, which it might be a little bit early for, but I'm kind of thinking it isn't. So let me go ahead. These, uh, these turbos, this turbo stuff is a bit wild. I'm probably going to have to make some edits to that later or maybe I'll just leave it as it is because this is after all a bit of a speed pain so here's a wild idea I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna like add this to the actual uh, spaceship I know that this is where the cockpit goes I'm still gonna add it more than likely if I don't forget however it's uh it's, it's kind of ugly right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and block it in right so let me just take a moment I'm gonna look back and yeah, yeah we're making good progress so I'm going to go ahead and maybe add some more of these little additions like this. Some more rounded areas because then the ship's kind of putting, taking on a rounded kind of theme, right? So there we go. Okay, let me just add a little bit, a little bit of a push right there. All right, I don't know about that. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Let me just add this instead. Instead of all those wild panels, kind of like popping out of nowhere. Alright, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit of a, a little bit of a push like this. Yeah, it's taking some good shape. So just kinda gotta add a couple more things every once in a while. Yeah, like there. And like that and like that. Let's add some little like dots there. I tried to, I'm trying to push myself recently to go to up to a single pixel brush when I could, when I actually come to editing and making making pictures, right? Because like that's where the real detail is, and you may not see it at first glance because you know it's a single pixel detail. It's why it's really small stuff, but like for the bigger picture, it it does wonders for the world, right? I might actually make a future video where I show you some of my paintings. Maybe I can break it down with layers and stuff like that if you guys look like. As of now though, my game plan is is to do a lot of experiment experimenting, especially when it comes to the video format for YouTube and everything. Because if there's any time to do experimenting, it's when you're first beginning a YouTube channel. Am I right or am I right? Anyways, it's taking some good shape. Let's go ahead and, oh, look at that. That's where the end of the canvas is. That's fine, it doesn't matter. It actually kind of does, it's kind of bugging me a bit, but ah, I'm too busy to fix it. We might fix it a bit later. As of now though, we're not fixing it. But yeah, right now we're down to a single pixel brush, or not single pixel, but we're down to a relatively thinner brush. We're definitely going to take a single pixel brush and do a few more pushes. Let's see if this is uh, the right one. Yeah, however, yeah, there we go. This is turning out pretty okay. At first I was pretty afraid, like I was kind of looking at this and thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta start the stream all over, this is too bad, this is horrible. Now that I'm adding details though, it's um, it's it's taking, it's taking its form. So now my brush has gotten even smaller. Reason being is I want to continue to add more detail, I'm going to continue to build on it, and I want to get this done relatively fast so the YouTube video isn't too long, right? So let me go ahead, I'm going to add some, some pushes up here, push it right here, and by the way the final painting might actually not be whatever I finish in this little video, it might actually, it'll be on my block for sure or something of the sort, but I may not be able to get all of this detailed out a crazy amount, and plus I, I doubt anyone really wants to see me detail stuff for like the next few hours, or not a few hours, this is gonna take an hour but detail it out for the next half hour you know it's uh, it's kind of boring the most interesting part has kind of come and gone which is the scene you know, the beginning part where the scene gets put together and the ideas come together 
So this is the easiest part, I would say. Like right now, you know, the painting is pretty set. Uh, everything else is relatively solid. The form is built, everything's built, the design is built, everything's good. The only thing that's happening now is I'm just adding little details and such. And this would be the important point in time in which I would probably like put Netflix on or, I mean, that's all I really do. Okay, put Netflix on and just that because I don't really do too much else when it comes to doing stuff while drawing. But yeah, this is, uh, this is how you do it. And now we're at that point where we're reaching the end, right? We're, oh snap, am I in, I'm on uh, deaf and mode, they can't hear me. Anyways, so, yeah, let me just go ahead. And that. People are joining Discord now, who would have guessed? The painting is taking shape though. It's uh, it's definitely a bit of an interesting one. We're gonna go ahead and do a very quick and dirty background, like the quickest and dirtiest thing ever. It's gonna be so quick and dirty, you won't even see it in the video. I'm just kidding, you will. But it's definitely gonna be something that's uh, very quick. We'll add some clouds though, why not? How about we add clouds? It won't be that quick. It'll be very, very plain clouds though. I'm telling you that. So let me go ahead. I'm just, I'm just actually just painting under the under sketch. I'm just like, all right. You just gotta keep an open mind. You just gotta keep drawing a bit. It's all good. I'm just waiting for one of some people on Discord to text me something stupid. But anyways, all right. So let's go ahead and boom, boom, boom. Like on, as on this side. Actually, those are very not similar at all. Let's try that again. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Again, the third time, fourth time. Now I'm gonna be sharpening, my biggest goal right now is to sharpen these edges. Like they are very, some of them are very soft, right? And you kinda want sharp edges. Sharp edges make for a sharp painting, right? Back when I was drawing like a year ago, I always said, like my stuff always looks so bad in the beginning. Now they look kind of okay in the beginning sometimes, but they used to look so bad, one after the other. And I figured it out. I figured out the basic idea of sharpen those edges and then look at it. And it's worked so many wonders for me. So if you're looking at a painting and you know what you want it to be, but it's a complete mess, try sharpening your edges. Just try, just think in your mind, let's look at it with sharpened edges and you just might be surprised. Uh, I know I didn't really do that with this one, but I did sharpen the actual painting itself. And the edges weren't that blurry, if I'm gonna be quite frank. So anyways, let's, uh, let's go ahead and add a couple more things. Going on right here. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, look at that. All right, let's go ahead and do something like that. I think that's sorry, the, the resolution is not that great on here, like if you look up close, right? But it's, it's taking some good shape now. All right, so I'm going to add a couple really, actually, I got to add a couple more things. How many seconds are we in here? 28. All right, 30 minutes for a ship, a ship. Not too bad, not too bad. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna add like these little dots just for the fun of it. We want it, you know, I said maybe it could look intimidating. Now, I'm gonna be quite frank with you, this doesn't look intimidating, but we can make it spiky, right? We can add lots of spikes, lots of, which is exactly what we're doing right now. So we're adding a few of these goofy little spikes right here. All right, let me go ahead and add some of these, these lighter, lighter parts to it. Okay, like that. And I don't see the third thruster thing, but let's go ahead and we can kind of like infer it by adding similar pattern that we have on these ones, right? So there's all, there we go. All right, and up here we got, we got our little spaceship thing right here. Let's add a little, another poke, another spike, why not? And it's taking some good shape, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a couple of important value pushes or a couple of big pushes, like final pushes that you can maybe take into your own drawing techniques or something of the like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to work on this a little bit more and I'll post the final version on my blog. I'll probably put the name of it in my in the description, right? If I'm going to be quite honest with you though, the it's on Tumblr so you know that these actually these qu the quality isn't as high so you probably won't get the full res version. But if anyone in the comments wants a full res version with the, like the Photoshop layers and everything like that, just say so and I can put it in the description. No big deal. All right, so 
last couple things we want to do. We want to add a sky. We want to add a little bit of a value push. We want to add a couple of very sharp details just in a random, some random spots, right? And we actually forgot to add green. We gotta add a couple, couple green, green splotches maybe. Very tiny, very subtle. Let's go ahead and we'll add it right there. And we'll add it right, why not right there? Okay, like that. And then we can add one right here as well. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of a density, color density D pushes so we just boom 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 okay dot 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 and more dots all right there's some green green on it that's pretty good and i should have zoomed in more like this all right <laughs> anyway sorry uh okay let's go ahead and let's add a couple of like cool details like we'll add some cool stuff on here how about that right now we instead of making these blue, we'll make them green simply because we didn't kind of fill up the promise of making them making this ship kind of have a green theme to it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Got a couple of green maybe dots for like lights and stuff like that, right? A couple yeah, green pushes like that, like that. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. We can add one right here as well. Why not? It's it's what it is what it is. So let's go ahead and add that. Okay, so there we go there. That's one effect we can add. I'm gonna have to do a value push right quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and set mine to 80 80 percent opacity and I'm gonna start just blocking in some of the darker areas I would probably want for this piece. And if you'll notice I'm gonna be it's I'm gonna be blocking it a lot, right? And I'm, these aren't gonna be like permanent permanently blocked in because you know that would be a bit wild if they were, like look how dark this is. But I'm gonna be messing with some of the values and stuff like that to you know keep it nice. Or at least see if I can make it nicer. Do a little bit of a good push. So let's go ahead and do that. Why not? So okay. 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 Start pushing right there. We'll push right here. Right there, and we'll go ahead and we'll lower the darkness a little bit. Actually, a lot of it. See, like before, after, it's a little bit. You know, it's a good difference. So let me go ahead. I'm going to increase that just a little bit. Yeah. So I, you know, that's uh, that's pretty good. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too dark. I don't know. Like for this uh, upper part right here, I feel like it could be a little bit less less dark. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, so let's go do a little bit of a. A little bit of a, a really sharp detail push just in a very specific area maybe like the focal point of some sort right so let me go ahead and I'll just I'll select something so select something like this maybe okay okay and we'll do that maybe add a few little tiny details okay Alright, and maybe we'll add some little pushes like this. Okay. Make sure I've been recording this whole time. Yeah, I've been recording this whole time. Oh man, that would have been a real, real punch in the stomach if it wasn't. Anyways, alright, so there's some good stuff right there. And. Some more reds in there. Some more red pushes, cause like I don't know, that's a that's a nice color. There we go. Just do a little sharpen the edges a bit. Add some little sharp parts to it. Maybe add some sharp parts here. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, that actually looks pretty nice. All right, let's do some more pushes. And if you guys have any questions, please do ask in the comments. I'm also open to critique. Send me an email or find me on my blog or any of the anything of the sort. Or Instagram. I actually have one of those too. Look at that. And if you have any questions or you or you want anything critiqued, like I'll do a paint over or something of the sort. 
I'm not too good with like faces. I'm decent. I'm okay with people drawing people. Uh, just, just yeah. Send me what you have, and I'll go ahead and I'll give it a look, and I'll give you an honest opinion if I can do anything to it. All right. Uh, okay. So there we go. That's it for the detail part, and we'll go ahead and we'll add a little bit of a blue push down here. Okay, because these are like engines, so let's just go ahead and just do a little bit of a nice, nice sharpening of there, right? I can't tell if you can actually see this intending to appear or what have you, but you know, down there is where I'm doing it. Uh, okay, let's do a little bit of a push there. Let's do, another, let's do a full black push, a little bit of a sharpen some of those good edges. If you've never sharpened edges before. All right, doing good, doing good. There we go right there. We're almost done, or actually, yeah, we are almost done. There's not too much editing left to get done. I'm gonna add maybe a little, little bit of the line. Actually, not there, no. We gotta add it somewhere where it's a little, little bit more useful. How about right there? <laughs> it's just like a random line. It's like, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, and we also need to add a person, right? Or a personal thing. Here, we can add a little person up here. You and I will be, you and I will be the only ones that know that there's a person up here because this guy looks kind of goofy. But he's he'll be up there. He's 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 up there. Here, let's put him in a little bubble. We put him in a little blue bubble, right? So, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cute, actually. All right, even though he's kind of coming off the screen a little bit, that's fine. Let's just we can cut that side a little bit. Just make it a little bit cute. All right, and you know what? We'll add a little bit of a, a bit of a dark, a little bit of like some kind of like round part coming, like kind of going around the bubbles a bit. Yeah, like that. I mean, ah, uh, not so much. That's a bit too much. So there we go there. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go like that. All right, this looks a bit weird. Let's go ahead and just do something like this. I don't know, just a little bit of a tiny thing to look at, right? Anyways, it's taken some good shape. Let me do a little bit more of a push. I'm gonna keep saying one more thing until I have nothing, just nothing left at it. I, I have that kind of habit. And I guess it's better than just giving up halfway, I suppose. However, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, do more little details here. All right, a little bit more of a push here. Just a little bit, just sharpening right now. And maybe I'll just go ahead and add a little bit more things to sharpen, or more sharpening lines. Just to, you know, show that this is a nice little spaceship happening right here. All right, and maybe we'll add a couple more dots of this. Yeah, that looks fine. Hey, it's taking some shape. It looks like a nice little, looks a little bit like a, yeah, it looks like an attack ship of some sorts, right? Maybe not the best attack ship, but hey, it looks like a ship-ish, right? Okay, so we got a little person up there, we got a little spaceship. And let's go ahead, let's add some stuff to the background, right? Let's add a little bit of a, a little bit of a gradient or something of the kind. <laughs> not like, no, that's a little too crazy. Something light, maybe. All right, like something like that, maybe. And then down here, we could maybe, this is gonna be something I'm just gonna try, right? Maybe try a little bit of a yellow, like it's going up in the sky. Yeah, this is a bit of a interesting, interesting thing. All right, I don't know about that yellow. That yellow looks a bit uh, out of tune, out of touch. All right, let me take a take a moment. Let's think about this. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty okay, pretty solid. It's a nice little spaceship thing going on here. A little bit darker than what I usually do, but it still has some color in there. It has that. Has that red? Has that red in there? Some green? It's pretty cool. I think this concludes the YouTube video. I appreciate you watching it. If you've made it all the way, all the way to here, uh, that's absolutely awesome. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a spaceship sketch. I'm gonna make a couple more add-ons and touch touch-ups on this actual thing. You know, there's, but it's ninety. I'd say about ninety-two percent done. <laughs> yes, that's specific. I'm just kidding. It's more like around the nineties. Anyways, I appreciate you watching this video. There's my there's links in the description if you want to check those out. And I'll talk